Yeah, going but, far. oh God, no. Oh, <laughs> Go <shit>. backwards, fall <laughs> back, fall back. <laughs> We live out the back of this camper van and we travel full time from state to state to see what different cities have to offer. We've made it over to Tucson, Arizona, and we're about to go explore and try different beer and tacos. So let's go check it out. Our number one asked question that we get all the time is where do we sleep at night? The simple answer to that is we boondock. A lot of times we choose to stay in, yes, parking lots like at Planet Fitness, especially when they're 24 hours, Walmart, things like that, or we choose parks that are open 24 hours too. This one has good parking space and uh, sometimes they have public bathrooms too. First thing we like to do when we go to different cities is check out the downtown. So we're gonna drive over there and then we're gonna unload the bikes and ride around downtown to see what it's like. So before we head into downtown and go bike riding, we're gonna stop at Target real quick because I have a gimbal, battery packs, and a bunch of microphones and stuff. And it's gonna be difficult to ride bikes around downtown with all this equipment. So we're gonna buy a little pouch. So let's go to Target real quick. Coming to Target is always a problem for us because we want to buy everything in this damn store. So today we're determined to just get a pouch. So let's see if we make it out of here alive. Hope, no. No, we're staying determined. Come on, we don't need that. No, we don't need it. Come on. Hope, no. No, this doesn't... This doesn't fit in our van. Babe, no. Come on. We have a hole in our blanket. I know, but... There's nothing wrong with it. The dog put a hole in the blanket. <laughs> this one's mainly for you. What do you want that little guy? Anti-thief bag. Is that a fanny pack? This can go around you like mine. Not the worst. So this is the chicken contender. Should work out. Oh, I have $2 in a Target gift card. Oh, damn it, I scanned it twice. Oh wait, we need that gift card. So somehow, some way, we made it out of Target with just one item. Um, now we're gonna head over to downtown and go bike riding. So let's go. So this is why I needed a pouch. I'm gonna be putting a battery pack, a gimbal. I don't even know if it's all gonna fit. A gimbal, my microphone my sunglasses, my wallet, and some wires. So it's already packed up, but that's what I'm gonna be keeping inside of here. So we were able to find some parking downtown next to this church and this children's museum. So let's take these bikes down and go for a ride. So this is the second most populated city in Arizona and it seems really clean. The people are really polite. Um, it's extremely dry. Uh, I've drank a lot of water today. My lips are still really dry, but it seems nice. So you guys already know, our first stop at every city has to be tacos, and we found this place called La Chingada, so let's go in there and check it out. Hi. The server recommended us to get two different types of tacos. So we got avocado chickpea and fried shrimp. So let's try them and rate them one to 10. All right, I'm trying the chickpea avocado one. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look that appetizing. It doesn't, but we all know chickpeas don't look appetizing. Not bad. Right, up next, we have the camarón, AKA shrimp. It's fried very lightly. Not like a beer butter fry. No. No. Very good. It's got a lot of flavor. Um, so the server recommended that we try their flan and fire. Mm, 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 mm. We finished up at La Chingada and tacos were good. I rate the tacos a 9 out of 10, um, although the shrimp could have been a little bit smaller. What about you? I reckon I call them a 7 out of 10 for me. I get a really? lot of shrimp tacos everywhere I go since I'm pescatarian. And just had a lot of other better ones. It wasn't anything special. Uh, for the flan, I rate that a 10 out of 10. That shit was fire. The flan was very good, but the chickpea, it was good flavor, just a weird texture, which you, I can get over that, but just was missing something. I think you're being too picky. Uh. <laughs> this dry heat got us thirsty, so we're gonna go check out a brewery. So as you know, we are in the desert and we need to hydrate. I mean, it's hot here. So let's go check out this brewery, Borderlands Brewery, and see if it's good. 
<laughs> we got beer. We got prickly pear, porchetta cream, mango foxtrot, and Pueblo Viejo. Let's try them. Rate them one to ten. Prickly pear. Good. Let's try the horchetta cream ale. You taste a lot of cinnamon hues to that. I, I really like it. It's interesting because it's almost like a chai latte in a beer. Viejo Pueblo. So good. This is a mango fox truck cider. It's not theirs brewed in house, but it is still local. That mango is strong. I don't think I've ever had a cider that, that, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Mango-y. mango, -y. mango -y. <laughs> Flavorful, flavorful. Out of the four beers that we had here, we really only loved one of them. That was the, which one? The Pueblo Viejo. That one. Uh, that was his favorite and I liked it too. The horchata was good, it was very interesting, but that's not something you drink a lot of. Uh, what'd you think out of one to 10? Um, one to ten, I'm gonna rate them a seven. The atmosphere is really nice. The customer service was nice, and the Pueblo Viejo was really good. I wasn't a big fan of any of the other beers, but seven out of ten. I agree. Seven out of ten for us. We found a random orange tree in the middle of the city, so we're gonna try to get one and eat it and rate it one to ten. Pour it on your shoulders first. <sighs> okay, good. Ow! <laughs> you got it? Head right in there. I'm on my tippy oh toes. Oh gosh! You got it? Yeah, you but fall? oh god, no! Oh, <laughs> go <shit>. backwards, fall <laughs> back, fall back. Okay. All right, you, yeah. All right, we got we got two. We got two. All right. <laughs> Whew. Whew. All right. We got a total of three oranges. Uh, let's try them. They're just growing out in the middle of. Oh wait, are these oranges? Yeah. Why do they I look like this? Mandarin oranges. No, mandarin are, oranges. Oh, are there's small. a lot of juice in here. Holy shit! Look at all that juice. Huh. I was gonna use my key. Ooh, it's sour. Look at all this juice, guys. Look at this. Hmm. Don't waste. No. Super juicy. They're very juicy though. Oh. <laughs> I can't eat that. Ah. That was a failed mission. That was a failed mission. So we're going to ride back over to the van because the dogs haven't been out in a couple of hours and we really want to get this nasty taste of oranges out of our mouth. So we're back at the van and luckily we didn't get a parking ticket because we ran out of time on the meter but now we're going to get the bikes back onto the van and then we're going to walk to so we're back at the van from walking the dogs and we realized we don't have enough food to cook dinner so we're gonna ride over to Trader Joe's and pick up some stuff so let's go not much to do here but there is a lot of parking for camper vans and it seems to be a camper van friendly city and what I like is almost everywhere you go you can see beautiful mountains in the background and the weather is also nice so it's definitely not a bad place to come visit but in my opinion there's just not much to do we're here at the Trader Joe's So spent about 130 bucks and we have enough food for about four days. This is what our fridge was looking like before we went grocery shopping. We really didn't have much, so now let's organize it. So we're all done grocery shopping. Now we're gonna go find a place to park up for the night so we can cook some dinner. So let's go. After we find a place to park up for the night, we put up our window covers for privacy. We got these window covers from the Wonderful. And what I like about these side ones is that they just magnetize to the side of the window. Then you just close the door and you're good. So we're parked up for the night. Now we're gonna walk the dogs before we cook dinner. We're 
we're back from walking the dogs. Now we're gonna cook some shrimp and grits. This is my favorite meal to cook because I cook them really good, in my opinion. So let's do it. Put some shrimp in there. So the secret to cooking shrimp and grits is to use some type of broth as the base. So I use vegetable broth because Hope doesn't eat meat, but you could use beef broth, bone broth, whatever you want. And then once this comes to a boil, I use instant grits uh, to put into there. And then uh, I stir it, I put butter, milk, salt, a little tiny bit of sugar. And then for the shrimp, I just season the shrimp and I use um, olive oil to cook the shrimp in. So when the shrimp is halfway done, I like to take it out and then I cut the shrimp. I just want to kind of cut them in half and then I just put them right back in. Some pepper jack cheese. Guys, cook your shrimp and grits like this and I promise you, you guys will love them. And all the extra olive oil and all the juices you want to put on there. So good. Fire. But now that we ate dinner, we're going to feed the dogs. And we keep their food inside of this bench right here. So we just got to take the cushions off of it and then lift it up. And that's Canelo's bowl. And then this is Cooper's bowl. Give Cooper a little more. Got to fatten him up. Stay. All right, your food. The booty rag. So the dishes are done, the dogs are fed. Now we're gonna watch a movie and call it a night.